Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. Obviously we're coming off the back of that insane result last time against AC Milan. So we're going out today at Ibrox against bottom club Air United who have three points so far, one win and four losses. Should be par for the course pretty much here going out and turning over a weak air side. <clears throat> Uh, we'll do a little bit of rotation in the team. We'll play Jordan Houston instead of O'Halloran. Continue his training as a, as a winger. He's two stars now as a winger, so not bad. He's getting up there. Uh, we have had a bid, by the way, for Wes Fodringham. 750k from Derby County, which we've accepted. You know, he's been a good servant here at the club, but he's thoroughly um, thoroughly kept out by Ian Fulton now. And possibly look for a, a backup keeper or something after uh, Fodringham goes. Um, other than that, though... Um, let me bring Ryan Jack into the mix here. Um, yeah, in ahead of McGinn just to give Jack some game time. There's not really a lot we want to do. We might start Haksabanovic ahead of a thief just to see if he can produce something. But we're not going to rotate too much. The last thing we need is to be dropping points against Air because we've rotated too much. So the team is going to be Fulton, Byram, Fernandez, Wallace, Jackson. Or Borthwick Jackson, pardon me, Jack, Cataldi, Houston Henderson, Haksabanovic, and Odson Edward. If we get a lead by half time, we might look at bringing on players like Rudden, for example, but for now, this is what we're going with. Who's this young? Uh, Stuart Nicholas is on loan from Celtic, looks a decent player actually, and is getting game time at Air United. Other than that, a 4 4 1 1 Alan Forrest playing here for uh, uh, Air United, decent player there as is Robbie Crawford, so they've got decent players in there, but obviously we should be beating them far superior quality in our team. Assertively, expect nothing but a win, don't want to send them out there under the impression that anything else is anywhere near acceptable, and we'll just encourage them, standard game this, it should be, should be able to turn over Air United with relative ease. <clears throat> I wonder if we're going to have a chance actually really early on here, Haksabanovic out to Houston. And there's an overlap with Byram going ahead of him. Houston chips it ahead for Byram. Tracked well by the defender, but it is whipped in odds. And Edward hits the post after 25 seconds. And hopefully that's a sign of things to come. About 75% pos possession in the opening 10 minutes. So we're doing really, really well in terms of keeping the ball. But we've not created anything since that early, early header off the post. 20 minutes now actually here have survived since that early scare. They actually have a chance to whip this in now. We're keeping three men up in case we can nick it, but O'Brien has found... Kid... Kildy? Kidley? Kildy, it is. Borthwick Jackson, however, nicks it, plays it over the top. Terrible ball, though, and Mackay will pick it up. Over the top the other way, looking for Moore, but it's picked up by Murray Wallace. He's got a simple pass into Ryan Jack, and hopefully we can now play some football. Here we go. Fernandez. Has Byram in a bit of space, chooses the other direction. Cataldi moves it quickly to Henderson. Haksabanovic into Jack. Sweeps it out to Jordan Houston. That's an excellent pass. Go and run them. Houston plays it into Henderson. Should have left it for Cataldi, but he gets it anyway. Haksabanovic out to Borthwick Jackson. Find Edward with the cross. Cross it in. Doesn't find Odson Edward, but finds Syed Haksabanovic, who scores 4 1 0. Just over 20 minutes gone. Excellent finish, and yeah, it was a great cross actually by Borthwick Jackson, moving the ball well from side to side there, Houston out on one side, it comes, comes into the middle, goes out to the left, whipped into the box, great play, <clears throat> and Haksabanovic's corner is nodded over by Ivanildo Fernandez. I'd like to bring uh, Andy Gilmore on actually, Fernandez is in the book, so perhaps if we can get another goal, we bring on Andy Gilmore at half time, Crawford finds Forrest. Back to Mackay, plays it forward to Jones. And Forrest, won't we'll get stuck into them. Jones, brilliant Ryan Jack winning it back. Got a point to prove Ryan Jack here. Uh, in the midfield, Cataldi picks it up. Henderson, Borthwick Jackson, who's been such a good signing by the way. Once again, a free player. Henderson, another free player, picking the ball up. Into Cataldi, another free player. <laughs> He's given it away sadly. Jones to Flynn. Now we do have to be careful, there is the opportunity for the ball over the top from here. But Haksabanovic wins it back, the loan signing. Houston now down the line for Edward, another free signing. Nothing happening, penalty given. That was a bit strange. Odson Edward apparently impeded there. And if this goes in, Odson Edward's coming off, running around out there with a knock at the moment. So 
we will bring Zach Rudden on early if Cataldi can score, which he probably will. Cataldi with a penalty, and it's saved actually by Fleming. Excellent save by the United goalkeeper, you have to say. And Cataldi will be disappointed by that. Haksabanovic's ball in. Fernandez rises, can't win it this time. Haksabanovic will pick it back up. How many long range crackers has Cataldi scored and he misses a pen? Houston beats his man, drives it low. What a teasing cross. And Haksabanovic again doubles his tally 2 0. And that gives us the opportunity to bring on Zach Rudden for odds on Edward now. <clears throat> Hopefully. He's not going to be out for too long, Odson Edward, because if him and Morelos is out, I don't know if I trust Zach Grudden to lead the line at the Bernabeu. <laughs> That'll be funny. And it's a simple standard 2-0 half-time. Should be three, of course, but Cataldi missing the pen. Not much more to say. Very happy with the way it's going. Calmly, though, not passionately. Uh, Fernandez coming off for Andy Gilmore. Other than that, we're just ready to go again. <clears throat> Air United going with the same formation, that 4 4 1 1 in the second half. They'll probably be relatively pleased if they can escape here without a hammering. Houston throws it to Jack. Now Henderson, Cataldi's in space, doesn't choose to hit one, finds Haksabanovic. Great ball from him to Borthwick Jackson crosses Henderson sweeps it good save by the keeper Houston pounces on it another good save by the keeper Fleming's actually been pretty decent for them today that's a good double save there and obviously the penalty save earlier on you know it's been a simple game for us today but they've not looked a bad side we've not been ripping them open at will it's not been wave after wave they've looked okay <coughs> You know, on the evidence of this game, I don't expect them to get swept away as much as maybe you would expect Air United to when they came up. You know, you'd expect them maybe to be down there like 20 points off of safety or something by the halfway point. But, you know, they've got one win, five losses. But on the evidence of this, I could see them racking up some more points against some of the lesser teams. Uh, Dimitri Mitchell will come on for Bothwick Jackson just now, who's in the book, of course. Murray Wallace also in the book, but I trust Big Murray not to get sent off. And with about 10 minutes left, you've got to say, Air United are probably be relatively pleased with this, you know, 2 nothing only that, that they're losing here at Ibrox against a rampant Rangers side who obviously have just turned over AC Milan. <coughs> and Haksabanovic is going to walk away with the match, not the match ball, but the man of the match award. I hope he drinks and get some of that champagne done him. <clears throat> well done lads yep Sian Haksabanovic man of the match unfortunately he's also picked up a knock a potential foot injury hopefully that doesn't keep him out for too long just had his best game in a Rangers shirt Haksabanovic sends Rangers top let's have a look at him he had Haksabanovic Montenegrin 21 years of age on loan from West Ham of course he'd be a good player to sign I don't know if we'll be able to pick him up from West Ham I don't think we actually have an agreement of a future fee in this deal uh, no, there's no, no, there's no future fee option on him. <clears throat> so we will have to just negotiate a, a cold transfer if we want to keep him. I look at the, the, the loan easier. Ross McCrory on loan at Ross County. They actually go down 1-0 to Queen of the South at Dingwall, but he still gets a 6.8, which is pretty good when you lose. Livingston going down 4-2 against Partick. David Fopala grabbing a goal there, but still playing pretty poorly. Robin McCrory, the Partick goalkeeper in that game, gets a 7. Marco Melanese playing at the back for Partick there, 6.8, which isn't terrible. Dominic Leiden down at Peterhead getting a 6.8. 6.8 also for Danny Finlayson as Morton go down 1-0 to St Mirren. Ryan Hardy with a 7.4 as he scores the winning goal for St Mirren against Morton. So many of our pl young players playing against each other. And Adam Muirhead gets an 8.0 as a ball-winning midfielder for Stranraer as they draw one each with Airdrie. Gordon Payton, the Alawa goalkeeper, 7.3, keeping a clean sheet and a 2-0 over East Fife. Jacob Bednarchuk with a 7.0 for Falkirk actually against Hearts. He played the full game out in the right wing there. They go down 2-1 against Hearts. But a good performance from our man. And then obviously just a little news article about how good Haksabanovic was there. And doesn't he seem to be 
saying anything about how long Haksabanovich is out. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any there's any actual injury to him. He's got he's at risk of picking up an injury. So maybe we will leave him out against Partick in the cup. Now Hamilton hosting Celtic at New Douglas Park. You'd expect a Celtic win, but it's 1-1. And Celtic are 3-1-1 one, and one to start the season, which leaves us three points clear of them <clears throat> as we edge towards late September. Not bad, not bad, of course. We obviously slipped up ourselves late, late on against St. Johnson, so it could actually be a five-point gap right now. But all in all, not bad to be three points clear of Celtic at this early stage. Uh, Dapo Mabudi sadly wasn't the goal scorer on that one. That would have been pretty sweet if he was. We're just edging now towards this cup quarter final against Partick. Obviously, the cup competitions aren't as important as they were earlier on for us. Of course, when we didn't have much chance of winning the league, it was more important to get some good cup runs. But they are obviously vitally important if we're going to get a treble. They're necessary, obviously, if we're going to get a treble. We need to win this cup, we need to retain the Scottish Cup once again, make it four in a row in the Scottish Cup. And obviously, we need to retain the league title. Early signs on the league title are good. Early signs on the league cup are good actually as well with Celtic already being out. St. Johnson have papped Motherwell 2-1 in extra time. At Fur Park as well. Now we're going to Fur Hill against Partick Thistle. There will be rotational boys in for this one. Gilmore, for example, will be playing. Uh, I might actually play Tim Gallagher as well in behind... In behind Zach Rudden, probably. Fitness test. If Amy and Cardoso fail, Morelos passes fit for 60 minutes. We might give him some action, actually. Celtic are away at Kelly in the league today, too. Hopefully Kelly can do something at Rugby Park against them. Wallace is the one making way for Andy Gilmore. One and a half stars just now, Andy Gilmore. But I think he could be a good player in the future, so we'll keep bringing him into the squad. Zach Rudden, of course, on for Odson Edward. Dimitri Mitchell ahead of Borthwick Jackson. Haxabanovich is going to continue playing. Christian Gamboa can come in for Byram, I suppose. And Tim Gallagher, as I say, is in for Liam Henderson. <coughs> and that's it. Oh, uh, Morello still has that little injury marker there, so I'm not going to play him today. Uh, I will bring in Jamie Burr-Jonas ahead of Danilo Cataldi, though. And we'll go with that. Quite a rotated side. We're, we're keeping Ian Fulton in now. Now that Wes Fodrigham is going to be going away, We'll keep Ian Fulton playing. This is a weird formation here from from Partick. A 4-2-2-2 of sorts with two deep uh, defensive midfielders in it. Yeah, Tim Gallagher has hair again. He was bald before, was he not? No, I don't know. The graphics on the regens are weird. And there's Andy Elephant Man Gilmore there. With the biggest forehead in the world. Jack Aitchison, is he, he is on loan from Celtic still. He's not really developed that well though. Uh, it'd be great if we could pick him up, but obviously with him being at Celtic, I don't see that happening. But yeah, it's time to go and play Partick here. Passionate, but on a good run lately. Go and press me. And let's just send the boys out with a regular encouragement. The youngsters playing today obviously should be able to do the business here against Partick. Lower league Partick at this point as well. <coughs> it's an early chance here as Burjonas delivers it. Goes all the way through. Nobody gets onto it. Kennedy picking it up for Partick now. Looking for Jack Aitchison, dominated in the air by Gamboa, Houston, Barjonas. Come on, have you got a ball here? Oh, it's not a great ball. Haksabanovich can't get onto that one. Story picking it up. Jack Aitchison looks to run in behind. Story goes back the way and it's easy for Haksabanovich to pinch it. Barjonas now. Mitchell's away on the overlap. Into Ryan Jack. Over the top for Rudden, who's made a good run. Can he square this? He tries to. Gallagher's in there. Wins a header just over the bar from Tim Gallagher. Decent start. And it's a corner now. It seems to be wave after wave here. Findlay away. Jack Rudden takes a touch. Hits the ball off the post. And then away by the, uh, by Findlay. Via Thomas Cherney. And they're hanging in here, Partick. In the opening five minutes. 70% possession. Two shots. And we're almost taking the lead. But much like Air United after that early scare, they've kind of settled down a bit of looks. They've got to about the 20th minute now. Just under 70% possession with four shots and the two on target for us. No shots, of course, from, from Partick yet. But half an hour gone at Ibrox, they're still 
they're still in this at nothing each. Let's push forward now. We need to try and get something before half time, I think. I don't want to have to make the decision about bringing on senior players at half time or not. Nah, and it looks like they're going to survive here. 6 0 on the short count, but it's still been about. It's been about 40 odd minutes since we actually had a chance, and it is half time. And Partick remaining solid so far after an early scare. Uh, we can still win this, keep working hard. Zach Grodden's impressed by that, so he'll not be coming off. Haksabanovic is going to come off for Akram Afif just now. Uh, Haksabanovic not playing particularly well today, plus he had that knock late on in the last fixture, so we'll give him a little break. I was a bit worried there as it looked like Jack Aitchison was going to be running in behind, but obviously big Ivanildo Fernandez must have dealt with him. Berjonas today has a 7.8. I really struggle to see how he can if we haven't created anything but good on him I suppose as Gallagher has acres of space and instead of shooting goes out to Gamboa that was weird Gamboa back in divine away but Jonas hits it it's well over the bar and regen Michael Fulton is coming on for Partick I want to look at him is he any good 18 years of age actually he does look pretty decent let's get a report on him and we're going to start Bringing on a couple of senior lads now. Odson Edwards going to come on for Zach Rudden. And I'm going to take Tim Gallagher off for Cataldi. Cataldi will move back, but Jonas can move forward. Uh, yeah, advanced playmaker attack is Burjonas' preference in that role. So 25 minutes left to go now. 14 shots, 7 of those on target, but nothing seen for almost 70 minutes now. It was two early, early chances for us. We didn't really create anything from them. Hopefully now we can pinch this late on. Partick have done really well digging in today. As Ian Fulton goes long. It's headed away. Picked up by Mitchell though. Right, let's get in behind him. Mitchell to a thief. There is the ball in behind Odson Edward. He's wide. Can he whip this in? Burjonas is in there. Can he cap his performance with a goal? There it is. Jamie Burjonas. Lovely finish. Lovely ball from substitute Afif, lovely cross from substitute Odson Edward, and a great finish from Burjonas, who apparently has been lighting it up today. And there's a goal to cap his performance. He delivers the one in now. Fernandez heads it, and Burjonas has an assist as well. It's a bit of a floodgate situation, I think, for Partick. They held out for so long when they conceded that first goal, though, then the second goal immediately. I think they must have just been smashed when they conceded that first goal. Shattered their morale, of course. And they've quickly conceded the second. And we're going to begin through at the semi-final in the cup. Falkirk also through with a 3-0 win over Dundee United. Hibs beating Ayr 2-0. And, of course, St. Johnson, the other team, after putting Motherwell out on extra time. Of course, it would cap it off today if Kelly have managed anything at Rugby Park against Celtic. Finlay forward to Chow. Jack puts a tackle in, not a foul, goes to Odson Edward, but Jonas, surely the game's time up now, we've played more than half an hour over the allotted extra time, Kennedy, Aitchison, there's the whistle, and 2-0, but Jonas involved in both goals with a goal and an assist, uh, I'll just calmly say well done, because they didn't do anything bad, it was 7.1 there for Mitchell, Young Gallagher with a 6.4 okay but fair enough they're not going to play outstandingly in every game the young boys Kelly just go down 1-0 Lee Griffiths in the 51st minute what were the stats in this one? yeah Celtic pounded them so <clears throat> that's Celtic now even on points with us behind us on goal difference but we of course have a game in hand and Bednarczyk playing well again for Falker because they go through Dundee United 3-0 7.2 for Bednarczyk and he's got an average 7.18 actually in a Falkirk shot so doing well so far hopefully he continues to feature but that's going to be it for this episode 2-0 back to back victories some good game time for some young boys and rotational boys as well um, not much more to say really uh, next time out Hearts and then Real Madrid I mean I don't know what more to say Hearts, of course, you'd expect that home win at Ibrox. Uh, be nice to get another clean sheet. If we can go into the Real Madrid on the back of three clean sheets, then maybe we'll only lose the five or six goals at the Bernabeu. Not that I'm going into that one pessimistically at all. But honestly, I mean, looking forward, we're expecting to get beat by Real Madrid, of course. We go into the Hearts game, full throttle, see what we can do against them. Real Madrid, 
we're just going to have to try and defend and see what happens. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. A little bit of domestic action now, not being challenged too much like we were in the Milan game, for example, to, to, to even the, the heart rate back out again before next time out, of course, we go to Real Madrid. So, if you've enjoyed the episode, please drop down below and leave a like on the video. It really does help the channel out a lot. And of course, if you want to follow the series, see how we get on against the likes of Real Madrid and Dortmund in the Champions League, then of course you can subscribe to the channel, which I'd be eternally grateful for. But mostly I just want to thank you for watching, and say I'll see you next time when we host Hearts at Ibrox and then we go to Madrid.